to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. I feel like the whole country has been following the Breonna Taylor case. Now, yesterday, Breonna Taylor's family and legal team um, uh, gave thanks to the city of Louisville for reaching a historic settlement in her wrongful death case. Uh, but they made it clear that the mission has not changed. They still want full justice for Breonna Taylor, and they want the cops who killed her to be arrested and charged. Now, their lawyer, Ben Crump, says the $12 million settlement was the largest amount for uh, ever for a black woman in a wrongful death case involving police. It's actually the largest ever for a black person in America, according to him. So he thanked all the people that have been protesting and fighting for justice, but He's not backing down, and he's demanding that the uh, Attorney General, Daniel Cameron, immediately brings charges against the cops who shot and killed her. Now, he says he wants charges this week, at the very least, a charge of second-degree manslaughter. I think we have audio of Tamika Mallory from yesterday, don't we? Friend of the program. Tamika has relocated to Louisville to fight. And uh, to I know my son has been down there as well. Let's listen. The significance of this settlement is a small price to pay for our sister's life. A very small price to pay. They deserve all the money that we can muster up in the world. And so I have to say to you, Mayor Fisher, we want to thank you for your leadership. But we want to say that if for any reason these officers are not indicted, that you must instruct your police department to fire every single one of them on the spot. That is called getting justice for Breonna Taylor. It's a great statement. Because, <sighs> I mean, it's, I, I, I guess the mayor has been on the right side of this thing and trying to do the right thing. But this money, this money that's paid by the state doesn't affect people who did this. And nor does it bring back Bri Breonna Taylor. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, in the past, you know, many people would see a settlement and they would be like, well, the family got money. But unpack it a little bit further. The issue we've been talking about for the last several years, like the last seven, is about accountability, accountability. OK, there's been transparency in there, accountability. The transparency is to hopefully help us have and hold accountability, hold police accountable. These payouts come from taxpayer dollars. Yes. This isn't coming from a police pension. This isn't coming from their salary. This hurts them in no way. Right. The police still getting paid, too. Mm -hmm. This comes from... The same pot of money that we as taxpayers put aside for everything else we put money aside and pay taxes for. Right. As a taxpayer, in your brain, do you feel like you should be paying for mistakes of police officers or corruption of police officers or both out of your hard-earned money? I say no. If imagine if they had to have an insurance policy, like a malpractice insurance, like a doctor would. Or a pilot. Imagine if they had to pay for this out of their pension. The I bet officers. you the po the police officers. I bet you they figure out a way to fix this ish real quick. Right. Well, you're talking about making them accountable in some way. I mean, I think that's what I'm saying. <laughs> they don't want that. Yo, other police officers would be like, yo, fam, you just cost us $12 million right. with your BS. We all that thin blue line, we ain't talking-ish, right. is out the window. Once you start hurting the money. Once you start hurting the money. So... This is just another example of us as the taxpayers, and by us, I mean because it happens here in New York City, too, having to front the bill, foot the bill for...
police officers. And then in return, when we ask them to make changes, they basically give us the middle finger and go and endorse Trump. Yep. So we pay all your bills, pay your retirement, tell you we love you, thank you. But anytime you screw up, you give us the middle finger, basically. And maybe a little hush money. Or you hide. And y'all protect one another. 